It's tough when plans fail, isn't it? A long-awaited holiday is cancelled. Our dream job falls through. Someone gets sick and we miss an important occasion. What do we do when our plans fail? Well, the good news is that even when the best laid plans fall through, God is still at work. Scripture tells us that in all things, God works to bring about his good purpose for those who love him. But the question is, well, how does that work? I think that's why I love the biblical story of Joseph as told in the book of Genesis. It starts so well. Joseph's a young guy and God gives him a literal dream of his future, basically saying, Joseph, you're going to be in a position of influence and incredible leadership, even so that it's above your family, which was an impossible thing at the time. And I can imagine Joseph out there in the field dreaming about the potential of that. But then what happens? His brothers get jealous of him. And they plan to kill him, but he ends up getting thrown into a pit, sold into slavery. The dream and the plan looks like it's all over, finished. I can't imagine how it felt to be Joseph in that moment. But then what happens? He gets bought as a slave. He gets taken to Egypt and he gets put into Potiphar's house, a very influential man in Egypt. He works really hard and he's promoted up the ranks. It looks like the plan is coming to pass. But then what happens? Potiphar's wife tries to seduce him and he gets unfairly imprisoned in Egypt's dungeon. The plan looks like it's over. The dream has died again. Can you imagine feeling like Joseph in that moment? All the promises of God are over. But then the story goes and through an extraordinary set of circumstances, Joseph gets promoted up the ranks to the second in charge of Egypt. It's like a big roller coaster. He has the plan, the plan dies. The plan starts to come to pass and then it dies. The plan starts to come to pass and then finally it's fulfilled. What carried Joseph through that whole time? You see, there were so many things that were against him. His brother's jealousy, his, pot, his boss's wife's seduction, and then the unfair imprisonment. So many things went wrong. The plan got cancelled over and over and over again. But behind the scenes, God was always working. Later on, Joseph says to his brothers, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. See, God didn't cause the brother's jealousy. He didn't cause the slavery. He didn't cause Potiphar's wife's seduction and the unfair imprisonment, but he used it. This is what God does for us. When our plans fail, when things go wrong, when it looks like evil is winning and the promises of God are dying right before our eyes, God is still working for good in and through every situation. You see, plan A may fail, but God has plan B up his sleeve. And then plan B may fail, but God has plan C and plan D. And the uncanny thing about this is plan B ends up looking like plan A, or plan C ends up looking better than plan A. This is the incredible sovereignty of God at work, the God who never stops working. So when your plans fail today, don't be discouraged. There is a God who's working behind the scenes, even using evil for good, for your good. It's been great to have you tune in today. For more on hearing God's voice and having your own God conversations in your own life, go to godconversations.com.